Welcome to the Gaiety Theatre's online panto, The Scunner That Stole Christmas, written by Fraser Boyle and Ken Alexander, directed by Ken Alexander. The panto is in five weekly episodes, with the finale on Thursday, 24th of December at 1.30pm. These episodes will be available to enjoy throughout January. Dorina the surface Sorceress has cursed Ayrshire Naren, stolen the magical panto recipe book and cancelled Christmas. Only joy, adventure and togetherness can save the day. Will our intrepid cast succeed? Our cast members include Fairy Handwash, played by Kirsty Malone. Fairy Handwash is about 5 foot 8 with blonde hair and blue eyes. Her hair is tied in a bun and she has a purple headband and gold hooped earrings. Her dress is a purple and white tutu with a string of large blue, white and silver baubles draped over her shoulders. She has turquoise gloves and leggings. The leggings are all in one with the high heels which have a purple bobble on the toe. Princess Neat is played by Bethany Tenick. Princess Neat is about 5 foot 6 with long flowing blonde hair and is wearing a small gold crown. She has a purple choker with a jewel hanging from it. Her dress is a deep purple velvet with blue tartan for the collar. From the pink waistband the dress is layered with a blue tartan over a light purple tartan which stretched from the back to almost meet at the front. All of this over the deep purple velvet dress. She has elbow length white gloves, white tights and black shoes with gold flowers on the toe. Prince Tidy is played by Matthew Tomlinson. Prince Tidy is about 5 foot 9 with short dark hair and side parting and a short beard. He has a tiny gold crown clinging to the side of his head. He is wearing a purple tartan jacket and knee length purple shorts. He has a cream waistcoat and a blue tartan sash below the jacket. There is a large purple bow at his neck and purple ruffles at the cuffs. Long light purple socks and black winkle picker shoes. Jock the Joker is played by Gavin John Wright. Jock is 5 foot 10 with red hair and a freckled face. On his head he has a multicoloured skip hat with a propeller on top. His shirt is red on the left half and yellow on the right. He has a yellow waistcoat and brown knee length tartan shorts with light patches sewn on them. He has multicoloured socks and light green boots. Dame Hilda Rertair is played by Chris Forbes. Dame Hilda is about 6 foot 4 in her sparkly silver heels. Her hair is a huge mass of orange and yellow sponge swirls. She has bright red lipstick and rosy red cheeks. She is wearing a knee length spotted cream dress over a gold long sleeve top. A green petticoat shows beneath the dress and a bright red penny around her waist. She has a string of pearls around her neck. Dorina the Surface Sorceress is played by Ali Cleland. Dorina is about six foot six in her black high heels. She wears a black balaclava with small white pom poms round the face and long black and purple crown clinging to one side. Her lipstick is also black. She is in a red velvet all-in-one which has blue, green and white pom-poms on it. On one shoulder there is a pointy red hat while on the other a large ruffle. At her waist is a large black belt and another red ruffle. In her jewel-ringed hand she holds a large three-pronged staff that's almost as tall as herself. At the start of the show all of the cast are seen in their own personal dressing rooms. The walls are a light cream and there are large mirrors surrounded by light bulbs over large dressing tables. The corridors to the stage are in the same cream. There is a spiral staircase leading from the dressing rooms to the stage. The stage, which is in darkness, is completely empty all the way up to the black painted wall. When we move outside the theatre, it is still daylight and we are in a car park with the front of the theatre behind us. The Magical Panto Recipe Book is a huge gold book with glittering purple writing on the cover. Welcome to The Scunner That Stole Christmas. Episode 1, another opening, another panto. We open with a view up the River Air towards the Old Brig before moving to look along the long sandy beach towards Green. At the theatre now, we can see a volunteer cleaning a window and mopping the floor. A second volunteer is standing at the bottom of the main staircase holding programmes. The house manager speaks into a radio. A sign at the bottom of the stairs reads House Full and in the auditorium the stage curtain is closed. We move to the dressing rooms now where Fairy Handwash is putting on her eyeshadow and curling her lashes. 
she straightens her hairband. Dame Hilda is applying blusher and powdering her eyebrows. She puts lipstick on and picks up her wig. Dorina is carefully filling in her eyeshadow and eyeliner. Jock looks in the mirror and draws freckles on his face. He dons his multicoloured skip hat. Princess Neat applies blusher and does vocal warm-ups. Prince Tidy puts on blusher and picks up his crown. The stage manager speaks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Act 1 Beginners Call. Act 1 Beginners to the stage, please. Stand by, please. Stage, technical and wardrobe staff. Stand by, please. Stage, technical and wardrobe staff. Act 1 Beginners. Thank Prince you. Tidy puts on his crown and everyone leaves the dressing rooms in a socially distanced procession. Dame Hilda stops, puts on her heels, before they all descend the spiral staircase to the darkened and empty stage. Princess Neat does more vocal warm-ups as she walks to the stage. Prince Tidy does some stretches and jumps to limber up. Dame Hilda straightens her wig while Princess Neat straightens her skirt. Fairy Handwash loosens up by flapping her arms. Princess Neat clasps her hands and shakes them, opens her mouth in a wide stretch. Jock is rehearsing his lines. The lights in the stalls dim and the curtain rises to the cast on an empty stage. A bright flash startles them as the stage lights up. Whoa. What's going on? What's happened to the panto? Something's no right, that's for sure. Perhaps my magic will find the Fairy cure. Fairy Handwash waves her wand. <laughs> Well, that didn't work, oh magic fairy. Your spell's as duff as my legs are hairy. Ah, oh, geez, a breaking day some magic. This panto's looking a wee bit tragic. I don't know what's wrong. It never fails. Spells normally abound from my fingernails. Oh, no. She points to the stalls. They all turn to look. There's no There's a bright oh, yeah. flash. <laughs> it's Dorina, the sore-faced Sauceress! Oh no! Fairy handwash, standing there like a fart in a trance. Looking for an audience, you've got no chance. The Gaty's plans have all been trampled. I stole Christmas, so your panto's cancelled. Cancelled? That can't be! Well, it is. Oh, oh no, no, it's not. not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh no, no, it's, it's not. not! Oh, shut your teeth! Dorina! You wicked, sore-faced witch! How could you be such a total... There'll be no more talking and rhyme for the hand wash. The pantomime is cancelled. Done. Over. Now all you get out of this theatre. I am staying right here. My pals will turn up. They love hearing my jokes. I hate jokes, Jock. And I hate you. Don't you speak to my boy like that. It's an happy strong oh, one. Here's Dame Hilda rare tear now, and what are you going to do about it? Stop! This is all nonsense. You can't cancel our pantomime. I don't do not. That's right. We can put on a pantomime if we want to put Prince on a pantomime. Princess slap their knees. Oh, Princess Neat and Prince Tidy. A pair of prize plums. You can't put on a panto, not Thanks without this. My magical panto recipe book! Get Slams that back! Staff down. Now all of you get out of this theatre and don't come they back. All jump. They all jump again. Bye bye. Transported outside the No! No, she's locked us out of the Gaty Theatre! We can't leave the people without a panto! I was planning on using my dressing room as digs. What am I going to do? How can we put on a pantomime without the panto recipe book? Have faith, Princess Neat. Oh, thank you, Prince Tidy. Don't worry, I'm a fairy. I know the ingredients off by heart. Gosh, that's lucky, isn't it? <laughs> Phew. We need to find joy, adventure and togetherness. Uh, uh, and did they just say them in super drug -like? Shut up, Jock. However, we cannot do it alone. We need help. I've been saying that for years. 
We need to reach out across Ayrshire. We need to find the help of as many people as we can. Sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. We need to get out there and search the streets, the high schools, the offices. The Kyle Centre. And find joy, adventure and togetherness. We must bring them back to the Gaty Theatre. If we work together, we can save Christmas. Joy, adventure and togetherness. What are you doing? I'm writing it down. I forget what I'm looking for otherwise. Sharp was a wet blamange. Princess, shall we just go together? Princess, Nate <laughs> plays with her hair. Do you know about Ellen the show for winching? I think he means go search together. Oh, thank goodness for that. Hey, let's try the breach. The <laughs> flies on him. And remember, we need to get the people of Ayrshire to help us. Recruit as many as you can along the way. You all look and... jock. Oh, what? what? Be careful out there. Jock oh, runs oh, oh. round Dame Hilda, who is teetering on high heels. The prince and princess leave together. Fairy Handwash waves her wand. Dame Hilda runs unsteadily after Jock, flapping oh. her arms. Boys and girls, we need your help to save Christmas. We need hunters and hunters of snowflakes. Find out how to join in by going to the Gaty website www.thegaty.co.uk forward slash save Christmas to download your free snowflake pack. See you soon! What will happen to the Gaty Panto? Can Christmas be restored? Will Air Station Hotel ever be viable? Look out for the next episode of The Scunner That Stole Christmas, available next Thursday, the 10th of December. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please help us put on more shows by making a donation to the Gaty Now. Click on the button underneath this show on the website.